bait. And what is designed for is the overhook system that we've been working with. So we've done the overhook system to the power plant, we've done the overhook system to the core, and now we're going to start to put the overhook together just a little bit. So the first part is going to go and press inside my dart. And the way this works is um, this is going to shut the guard pass by pushing my, my leg down. What I'm doing is think about it this way. If I move my head away by a post, I'm giving him an area to work inside. And so what I'm doing is just, I'm going to move my butt away, and move my hand over, and I'm going to get hold of it from here. So this is the hardest part that I've been told. I just set my Kimura up. So what I'm doing is, as he pushes down my leg a bit, all his weight is here. So I just reach because this hand here is, uh, is going to be pushing me down. So what I do is I'll move my butt away, and I come over. So this hand here, to my chest, I just get my Kimura grip. I make sure that I'm putting the arm on the outside, so this way it's harder for him to put his hand back towards his leg to rescue and try and defend the Kimura. So one more time. So from here, my partner starts to push the leg down. So what I'm doing is, as I'm doing it, I kind of go, my head goes towards the head, but my butt goes away. I come over, I scoop and I get my Kimura position. I'm making sure that my foot's raised just a little bit. I don't want it flat on the ground where I can step over. I make sure it's just up just a little bit and it's kind of behind the knee. So if it does try to like, like fight with his legs, I've got this really nice position to hold him into. Right, two, three. More, um, more high level than low level. The correct, the correct way to get Kimura is to put like, my partner's thumb up towards his um, middle of his back. So I'm just pushing it away, right, is I move my hip, I boast, I come over, scoop it, and I'm here for my legs here. Right. The downfall that I have is, once I take this up from here, because there's too much separation, as I take it up, my partner gets his body to start to move now out of the air, right? So what I'm trying to do from here, instead, think about this way, I'm trying to do a hip escape and I'm trying to do what I call a stiff arm. So I'm going to go hip escape, I'm going to go stiff arm. So my partner is going to go, okay, it's in a good position to pass the car. So he'll step over and he'll start to pass the car. What I'm doing now, yep, that's good, good, is I'm now going to chase it. So what I do is I put my, I do the same move motion again, I do a shrink. So my butt comes up, I put my neck on the and I roll. So this is the move to the top position now where I've got two corners of the sweep. As far as the switch is, so I've got four corners of the sweep. I've got a corner, 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 a corner,
high command to your point. You get that really, that, that balance. Come on, come on. They're going to post in this battle. Uh, I see this quite a fair bit there. Well, again, that fight going to kind of do well. So we're not doing this. Um, I've got Chris, he's got my hand, uh, so he's passing the guard, putting my knee down. So my butt goes away, my head comes in. I pull the elbow, it's me. First thing I'm doing is I'm stiff arm from here. Second thing is I raise my hips, pop, and I put my head. So I've got to go to the joints, put the elbow here. The gun just, once it comes out, it's better. Yeah, we're going to do this in a second. So what I want is, once I'm in, I try and put the elbow to my stomach, and I roll under. So this is how it goes on the back of my hands onto his chest. And it's really hard to top. Now if I get here and Chris posts out, and it's like, no, 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 no. I'll bring my legs up. So I've got these options that if they be close out of that mirror, I can still bring my legs up and hit the roll. So once you go, the part that I'm seeing is as we're doing the, the roll, sit up, catch it, then you can, stiff arm, right? remember, stiff arm, okay. butt goes in the air, one catches, and the legs from here, pull my elbow to my chest, pull my elbow to my chest. I haven't done it yet, yeah, okay. Hip escape, put all my right into my right hand. Push, 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 push. Come up on top, okay, so grab the belt, pull the arm in there, hand goes down, and we should go. So here, if he pulls his arm out. Yeah, so this is a just nice, easy way. Secondly, my knee goes behind the head. Choke, but can't get it. Tea bag, Kimura. Up and away, and touch the back. Try that again, guys, for a second. But I'm doing it from the top position. I'm doing it from the top, so I'm going to basically walk around my partner from the top position instead of them walking around. I just grab Chris again. So we're going to start this side to his back. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start exactly the same position. So I'm inside Chris's guard and I start to initiate the guard pass and then go straight from one. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm pushing backwards off my palm and I'm getting to my toes. So the first thing that I do is I push backwards off my palm I get to my toes. Now, as it starts to lift the arm, I step back. I'll take it. So, the two things have to happen is I've got to be on my post and I've got to keep his arm tight to me. Tap the arm as a person on the bottom. So, what I'm doing is from here, as I'm passing the step to the one. So, I'm like, what I'm doing is I'll see people step over, but if I step to the other one, I'm going to pull it. I come up, come up, here, 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 so when I get to the other end, it's cut over, and I try and wrist lock it, and go and spin the other one. So I'm just wrist locks this way, wrist locks also. That one. Okay, once you turn on, sometimes it's like, so I kind of get the mechanics right. Um, like you want to kind of make sure that no one is he can't roll me. That's one of the biggest issues, because I'm going the way that he wants to roll me. And if I become a cylinder at any stage, it's easier for him just to have a little bridge and roll me over. So what I'm trying to do from here is, as I'm passing the guard, he's back and on now, watch my shoulder go here. So if your shoulder goes here, if you see that it's a little strong, that looks to me. Yeah, it does, because we're a cylinder. So it's easier for him to roll me my shoulder, if I try and hold him on my shoulder. It's actually it's better for him and worse for me. So what I'm trying to do is to get the camera, put the arm, so I so pose, step back. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull him towards me and lift. So he wants my elbow 
onto his chest. So pull my elbow onto your chest. So now, step. So everything set. Hold. Step up. Pop. Get rid of that. Like the wrist lock, pick it up. Up. So the two differences that I'm doing, just to reiterate, is here. So I'm going. Push up and I'm pulling him towards me to step. So see how like, I'm already kind of close here? I hold legs. So if he tries to roll his legs around, I've got this ability to hold him here. Knee on the side. And it's kind of come down here. Nice. Triangle if you want to. So no matter which way he rolls. On a bar, they try and get on the head. What he wants to do is to roll. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go push and I'm bringing my elbow to my belt. My elbow to my belt. So I see people try and lift. This is really hard to lift this weight on this mechanic. So what I do is I bring my elbow to my belt. And that'll put me in a position where if I want to, I can start to come more on him as well. Just from here. I don't even have to step around to the arm bar, the more as well. The more that he has the intention of doing the more the better this one is. So um, the, the mechanic for holding the arm on the arm bar. So I'm here, he goes Kimura, I push backwards, my elbow comes in, I step, so what I'm going to do is I make sure that my, when I'm spinning, I'm going to make sure his elbow goes to my chest. So as I spin, come on, you come. Just come out of something. So I'm posting. I'm right, So by default, the arm should be here in the arm bar position. So as I spin, it should be here. So what I see when I say sit back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down, I'm going to hold it. So this way as I'm coming backwards, it's harder for him to escape. So I'm going to sit down, and I'll pull the elbow towards me, watch that. So the whole mechanic is up like towards me. It won't get stuck and his hand fighting. One, two, to get rid of the air, so the hand comes up. Once again, pop from here. On the arm bar, is I like take it not to my chest because that allows him to roll. Yeah, like that. So what I do is, I go slow, but as he starts to roll, I just take the arm that way. And this is better for me because I can now come up and swing and keep the arm in a far better position as well. And that enables me to start my chokes and things. So it's more that you've got to pull the elbow to the chest and keep the elbow onto your chest, keep it nice and slow when you do. Is there any other questions, guys?